it's Mary. I just finished week one with VIP Kid and I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Um, one of the main questions that I see in the Facebook groups and just posted places is that everybody wants to know how to get more bookings. So my first week I ended with 16 bookings, which I was pretty excited about. I mean, that was, I thought that was pretty good. Um, at the beginning of the week though, I only had like, I don't know, two or four. So not very many. Um, the way that it works, just for your information, if you're new, they open up the bookings at midnight, my time, I'm Eastern. So on Sunday night, late at night, it's actually Monday morning, I guess technically, but Sunday night at midnight in China, they open the bookings up for the week, two weeks out. So if you're talking about the 1st of May, then that first week would be opened up the Sunday before that. Um, that's not explaining that very well. Hold on. I have a calendar in my props. How fun is that? Because I had to teach the days of the week. So for example, this Sunday, they're gonna open the bookings for this week. Okay, so not the current week. It books a week out. So anyway, my first week, I didn't have very many bookings and it's probably because those had already been filled up from, you know, the Sunday before that when I wasn't even available. So this Sunday, this past Sunday, I have taught for a full week and Sunday night, I checked my back office just to see, you know, what was going on, make sure nobody had booked a last minute 1 a.m. session Sunday night. And when I refreshed my bookings for the week, I had 22. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. And it was only like 12.05 a.m. So in five minutes, I got 22 bookings for this current week. But then I scrolled ahead to the next week and I had 48 slots filled in seven minutes. 48. So here's my tip. If you are not getting bookings, you need to look at the times that you're offering. So I, when I, first found out about the MP kit, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to teach from 9 to 1 a.m., get the kids to bed, don't have to do anything, you know, I can just teach late at night. But that's not really the prime time. Um, so I book now from 6 to 9 a.m., and our kiddos sleep in until about 8.30 or 9 anyway, so that's not a problem. They know to be quiet if they wake up before I'm done. But I teach 6 to 9, so I opened up all the slots from 6 to 9, and then those, I mean, they filled up literally five minutes and it was full for every day from six to nine and then the other thing that I've discovered last week which is why I ended up with 16 my very first week on Friday I just happened to have like a 2 a.m. booking and so I stayed up that night and I thought I might as well just open up all the other hours right if I'm gonna stay up I might as well be teaching so I went ahead and opened all those other hours on Fridays and or on Friday and I got a lot of last minute bookings, which is fun because it's even more money. So that was a fun little thing that happened my first week. So now, my schedule that I'm kind of settling into is 6 to 9 a.m. every day. And then on Friday nights, I'm actually gonna stay up all night. You know, I'll just do the night shift. I'll just pretend I'm one of those people that works the night shift. So I'm gonna stay up all night on Fridays, which I already have a lot of it booked next week. I have 48 bookings, so a lot of that is on Friday. I'm hoping to get more last minute ones in the middle of the night because that's their Saturday afternoon. And then um, I'm gonna sleep, you know, Saturday from like nine to one and then be with our kids and family and have a good day. So that's my tip. If you're not getting bookings, it's likely the times that you're posting because I'm brand new. So there's no other reason that I should have had all those bookings that week except for that I had the prime times open. Um, some people did say, to adjust your profile picture, and I did do that. I'm, you know, I just picked a one that I liked better. Um, I did not change my video, and it's very basic. Like I probably should change it, but I didn't. Um, so those things might help, but really just look at the times that you're willing to teach, and get those slots open. And it's not hard. I'm a night owl, but it hasn't been too hard. I do keep lip gloss at my desk <laughs> just so I can look fresh. Um, you might have to put on makeup again at 3 a.m. if you're teaching through the night, but. It's been worth it. I think it's so exciting to look at that payment tab and see how that's adding up already. So hopefully that helps you get your bookings and hopefully you're having a good week um, as well. And I will talk to you soon.